به نشان آمدیم This commission that we're inaugurating today, I think, has been overdue because some time ago, about this time last year, a similar thing happened. And because we believed that we are one family, that whatever differences we have, definitely will be resolved internally. But it has become very clear that rather than get close to the path of peace, that this state is gradually turning to, what I say, a kingdom where law and order are no longer the order of the day. And we can't fold our hands and allow such a thing to happen. On the 5th of October, about uh, 
four days ago, we had an election in this state. Before the election, we also had from a lot of quarters, songs of war, threats, but we never took it serious because we believe a local government election is the prerogative of the state government. It has nothing to do with anybody anywhere that is outside the confinement of our state. And for that reason, we believed strongly that whatever it is, we could manage it to produce the purpose of that election. But it became very unfortunate that after the election, even while the election was going on, several things happened which we managed, thinking it was going to end there. The day after the election, there was also more threat from people. And we also thought it was just a normal threat, believing that it was not going to be out of hand. But it's really unfortunate that on Monday, yesterday, that we recorded one of the things that happened between 2014, before 2015 in this state, when courts were being bombed, when people's houses were being dynamited, when murder and assassination was the order of the day that led to even the closure of courts. We can't fold our hands as a government and allow it to occur again or repeat itself in this state. So I've decided to take this action to find out the immediate and remote causes of this and most importantly, no matter the personality involved, we must bring them to book. So this assignment is a very, very important assignment. It's an assignment that if it is not done rightly, will give this enemy of the state opportunity to continue. And if we get it right, it's going to be the end of further destruction of public property in the state. I know it's going to be very taxing. I can assure you there will be threats, but you have to be strong. You have to be strong. God didn't make any mistake to bring you at this time. I keep saying it. It's for, it's for the purpose. And history will not forget this responsibility that you're carrying out today. Let me, for the purpose of uh, the record, outline your terms of reference. One, determine the underlying cause of the violence and identify the individual or group responsible for the attack on some local government council headquarters and the harm caused to citizens. Evaluate the extent of damage to properties, infrastructures, and human lives, and estimate the financial losses incurred. Three, examine whether the violence were political motivated, or if so, identify the key players and their roles in instigating the violence. Assess, for, assess the effectiveness of the security agencies response to the violence and identify areas for improvement. Five, investigate the actions of individuals and group involved in the violence in the face of the relevant laws, in the face of the relevant laws, including the violence, including the violence against person prohibition act of 2015. Six, advice on 
adequate compensation and support for victims and other families and their families, as well as measures to prevent further occurrence. Seven, make recommendations on long-term strategy to prevent similar incidents in the future, including recommendation for policy reform, community engagement, and conflict resolution mechanisms. Eight, recommend appropriate sanction for individuals, no matter highly placed, and group found culpable. Make other re relevant recommendations in light of its finding, which the Commission may consider appropriate. Let me, on behalf of the government and the good people of the United States, officially inaugurate you and wish you well. I know it's not going to be easy, but please, brace up and do this for your dear state. Thank you and God bless you all. I want to thank God for this privilege because I know that by the special grace of God, we will not rely on our strength. The governor has enjoined us to be strong. But I want to assure you, governor, that we will rely on the strength of God and by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Because I know that any solution you give to a people without the divine intervention of God will, be, will not last. It will be short-lived. But I do know that with the help of the Almighty God, you have not made a mistake. I have taken time to look at the, the, the map of Nigeria and I notice a particular lady has had to paint eyes, nose and all that on the map. And I realize that River State is a neck carrying this country. God has blessed us so much. We will not allow ourselves to destroy what God has given to us in River State. And it is on that ground I stand to speak on behalf of the members of this commission that by the special grace of God, we will not fail the governor that has appointed us today and will not fail River State.